the culture of Dapper is like, it's like a pretty close family, I want to say. Like everyone's like good friends and uh, we all have like similarities as far as like, uh, you know, just similar stylings in cars. Like we, we want to keep everything classic and, and clean, but we also have some aggressive wide body stuff uh, we're trying to do, but everything's like focused on fitment. And um, yeah, I mean, as far as like international um, crew and stuff, it's all, it's all around the same, but different style. W ubiegłym roku powiedziałem, że będziemy robić imprezę na 100 samochodów i będzie to mniejsza impreza zamknięta, na której będzie po prostu lepiej organizacyjnie wszystko dopięte. Przez to, że w ostatnich miesiącach, dwóch, płynęło bardzo dużo zgłoszeń z zagranicy, przez to miałem problem z tym, żeby zamknąć tą liczbę do, do, do tej liczby. Mieliśmy mieć 200, na razie 250, finalnie było 400 aut na, na imprezie. I think if you have everything in stance, uh, like the car is slow and you have the big camber and you have the nice wheels, so the car actually is finished. So the step number two is make it some revolution with the car and just go to the race, race uh, style. Virginia and like Washington DC it's pretty nice but uh, you get to like New Jersey and New York it's like a nightmare there's like potholes everywhere and I mean static cars I, I just don't know how to do it um, like Sean Quills fender the lip and I've been in the car with him like what three of the times he's blown his oil pan <laughs> it's, it's crazy man like you would think America has like amazing roads but I don't know it's, it's pretty bad sometimes so <laughs> I started Dapper maybe two years ago and uh, yeah I mean originally it was just supposed to be like a small crew of, uh, of friends like maybe had like 10, 20 people and uh, we were just looking for like really clean fitted cars like I mean the, the meaning of Dapper is like well fitted so we wanted to use that same I guess idea towards like fitment of cars and just like the, the overall quality of it and uh, yeah it's just crazy like it really took off like Honestly, I just, I thought it was just gonna be in the United States and before we knew it, like people, people all over the world wanted to be part of it and uh, it's just crazy like, you know, adding people from the internet and then finally getting to meet them when I come out to like places like Poland and uh, yeah, when I came to racism, I was like really impressed. Like, it's just like really good quality cars, a good variety and I mean, everything is on point, like the paint, fitment, everything.
dance is, is definitely getting really big. Um, I mean, five years ago, it wasn't that big. I mean, if you just if you just dropped the car and it was low, you were cool. But nowadays, you got to be fender the lip. And I mean, it, it's definitely evolving. And uh, I think it, I think it's for the better. And uh, it, it's crazy. Like a lot a lot of people just travel all over the world to go to all these dance shows. Like uh, people came to racism from London and Russia and uh, Switzerland and just all over the place and it's it's really cool and uh, I know a couple people in the United States like uh, Brian Henderson from Rotiform uh, shipped his car out to uh, Austria for uh, Warthersea and uh, I mean that's just awesome that people just go all over the world for, for the stance movement and uh, yeah I mean I, I think it's really cool. Biggest problem was um, police, so they started um, to sunk in the wheels more, more um, offset. So that's the way. Um, in Poland, I think it's not the biggest problem if you got some rub tires. So yeah, and in Germany, it's the biggest problem. They want to drive low and don't want fuck the fender, so they driving like um, seven inch wide wheels and offset of 70 or something. But it's 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 going back again, yeah. We're fighting against it. Some of the bigger events in the U.S. are definitely like H2O. Um, it's definitely growing. Every single year it gets bigger and uh, it's really cool because it started as just Euro and then now it's accepting everyone like JDM and Euro just get along. Everyone just mutually respects each other and uh, I mean it's it's like a really close family I want to say like um, it's not it's not really a competition like everyone just goes to just have fun and hang out with friends that you only get to see like once a year so I think I think that's definitely what it's about it's like friendship and you know car culture and um, I was just recently in uh, Southern Worthersea in uh, Georgia it's just it was amazing it's like a little Bavarian town in uh, Helen and everything uh, looks like it's from Austria so it, it's kind of like a little sampler of uh, the real thing and uh, I'm looking forward to go to the real one maybe next year so we'll see and uh, yeah, I drove like 10 hours to go there and uh, I took my Volkswagen R32 and it was a good drive and good times with good people. Wiążą się jakieś fajne te relacje między chłopakami z Niemiec, ze Szwecji z innych krajów. Movement zaczyna się robić e, ogólnoświatowy. Bardzo mnie to cieszy. Nie spodziewałem się tego, że tak będzie. Jest jakieś tam spełnienie marzeń, nawet marzeń, których nie miałem. Kolejna edycja stanę na głowie, żeby była pod dachem. W miejscu, które nie było jeszcze wykorzystane przez imprezy motoryzacyjne.